And now, a Shakespeare in the Ob exclusive. Hello, Pavel, how are you? Good, you? Great, I'm doing good, thank you. Yep. Guys, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Pavel. And uh, Pavel, tell me about the character you're playing in this. Right. I'm playing Autolycus. Autolycus is a thief. He is a selfish bastard. And primarily, Autolycus cares about swiping everything he possibly can and acquiring money. So basically, he's a rogue. Yes. Rogue has connotations in today's modern pop culture. Well, geek pop culture specifically. The... Yeah, let's just stick with rogue. Yeah, that works. And you get to sing in the show, right? Yes. How, how do you feel about that? Uh, it's just a, it's just part of the part. I have to do it. Do you like it? It's fine. Do you have any prior singing, um, in, I mean, like training or something? I did choir for like two years. And that's I sometimes that's great. sing in the shower and that's really it. So you have a good background, I guess, in singing. <laughs> okay, tell me, what was your approach to playing Autolycus? I started off by kind of trying... Well, what, basically, if you want to get a character up really fast, um, and you just want to explore it by not doing like an analytic approach, mm -hmm. the, the thing you can do is try to do the character as another character, and then see what parts of the character that you're doing it as line up with um, your current reading of the script, and then use those to build your final character off. Of. So. I mean, the the essentially, it's it basically comes down to borrowing elements of other characters to put together a, a very quick pastiche or whatever that you then refine later on into an actual working character. This doesn't work as well for serious characters, but for comedic characters, it works very well. Right. Yeah. Now, who did you compare? Uh, how did you? Which character did you compare yourself to? Like to do this? Um, I started out with Bender from Futurama, and then later on Captain Jack Sparrow because Bender doesn't really translate well at all. Right. So basically, you could start by picking any character at random, and then well, any character that's similar, and essentially you're looking at what the strengths are of those characters in the role that they play within their stories and then seeing uh, which of those strengths or traits right. are applicable to your character. So really it's kind of like a roundabout way of discovering your character. So it's a process of elimination and stuff basically? Somewhat, yeah. And just so basically you're like one. how different Autolycus is from Jack Sparrow and then you narrowed it down more? Well, I guess, I guess. Right, because Jack Sparrow is not necessarily like Autolycus for the most part, right? No. Uh, to uh, Jack Sparrow has a bit more ethics and morals, morals going on, where right. Autolycus is more about the wenching the, and the boozing as, as the direct result of gaining money. Right. So, yeah. Right. How's it like being in the ARB, like we're acting out here? It's hot, it's sweaty, and it's mosquito-bitten, but um, it's a pretty good time. It is. That's, that's really good. Um, and you've been doing this for a couple of years now, right? Uh, yeah, this is my third year. Third year. Is this, uh, out of all three plays, um, would you say this is your favorite, or no? Um... In terms of the my favorite script, that would probably be Midsummer. My favorite experience so far, um... That may have been Twelfth Night. Mm-hmm. Um, Where you played Antonio, right? Yeah, I played Antonio. Okay. And you went up the same hill, basically, with, um... Did you, uh, do you do that in this play, uh, going up the same hill and stuff? Oh, uh, the... that big hill? No. no. Um, you do I... it as the, when you're a peasant though, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Now, do you think it's easier playing a peasant than Autolycus? Oh, uh, being a peasant, you're just a prop. I mean, we get to eat on stage, so... And it's, you get to dance as well, right? Yeah, we so. you get to dance, but yeah, it's, it's overall, it's overall a much more chill experience, and basically you're just a prop right. slash props carrier. Right. How is it being part of Wither Wither? Meh. Nah. It's, it's fun. fun. Uh, it's there's fun. some interesting experiences with Muffin Man, but we didn't. We don't. We didn't really go into that. It's somewhat of an in joke at this point. But it's. Uh, is that in the play? Muffin no. Man. It's. It's. It's something that our group discovered was on a keyboard mm -hmm. that one of the that one of the other actors brought in. Okay. To rehearse with. Oh, I do remember. I do yeah. remember that. So okay. whether whether right. kind of had the whole Muffin Man song. Right. 
become an Andrea Okun. Right. Now, so, have, yeah. have you seen the Wither Wither version on YouTube that has been going around? No, I've been staying off, staying so. off uh, online as of late to right. try to get work done. Right. Well, there is a version where it's more flowery than what we have, and the dialogue doesn't really come out as well as we do it. And you have Atalicus who's robbing people in the back of the well. Mopsa and Dorcas are singing, and then you have the clown singing with them, which is totally different than what it's crazy, but yes. Okay, is there anything you would like to say to the viewers before we sign off here? Um, who are the viewers, first off? Um, the YouTube viewers who are watching the reality show. Uh, Could be anybody in the world. Favorites, subscribe. I guess, he wa I guess he wants favorites and subscribes. Help him out. Um, would you like to give any advice <laughs> to anybody about acting? Um, <laughs> practice. There's a whole ton of pra practice and um, be ready to accept criticism mm -hmm. and input from others. Great. Well, thank you so much, Pavel. Wish you all the best for uh, tonight's last performance and uh, do well. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, I, I, I took a lot of um, cues from Eric, actually. I saw how he walked, how he talked, how he interacted with people in general. Um, also, I, I added in a little bit more of my own stuff. I mean, because Eric's not a completely bad actor, he makes a very good background character.